Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus and today we are taking on Lakshmi the three star version and that's the party that I'm using right here uh, Orlando is gonna be our damage dealer. I brought a Sephiroth basically you can use any friend Sephiroth uh, that 60% light and peril is really really good. Mistia is gonna be our AoE magic cover tank. We're gonna go over their stuff right here. Uh, I build her up to have 125% light resistance which will make things a lot easier. Uh, these are the equipment that she has right here. Uh, it's gonna make the fight a lot easier since Lakshmi does light magic damage and uh, with 125% buff to light she's gonna be taking zero damage. Merc Ramza 100% evade tank, we're gonna use him, uh, we enhance his, uh, wait, right here, stone throw, so basically he's gonna be able to uh, provoke for 3 turns, 100% all the physical attack, Lunero is making a comeback, cause yes, bards are still gonna be good, uh, on turn 1, after doing all the removes, Lakshmi is gonna drain all of your MP, so Lunero is right here, uh, to buff our stats by 90%, and also to make sure that we recover some MP, and HP if we do get hit. So, without waiting, we're just gonna go here. Uh, Merc Ramza and Mistia are pretty much gonna be doing the exact same thing the whole fight. Uh, Lunara is gonna sing. And right here. So, here's one more thing I forgot to say, guys. Why Merc Ramza? Really simple. Uh, he's 100% resistance to charm. And on turn 10, she's gonna do a uh, charm attack. So, she, if uh, you provoke with your tank, well, on turn 10, She's gonna uh, charm him and he's not gonna be able to provoke all of the attacks anymore for your party. So uh, if he dies, fight's gonna be a little bit harder. So right here, no more MP. It's okay, Lunara's just gonna make sure that our MP comes back up. So this is why the this, this is the only reason why I'm bringing Merc Ramza. And uh, he has a lot of counters, so that thing is actually not that bad. Uh, we're gonna go over the stuff that we have to do. We have to complete the quest, uh, defeat Lakshmi with a limit burst. Evoke Fenrir and a party of 5 or less, which is not going to be that bad, and uh, we're going to be good to go. So on this turn, we're just going to auto attack with everybody, we're doing a little bit of damage, and uh, she's a human, so bring your man eater and uh, your, yeah, man eater and uh, human killers, all this stuff, so uh, you're going to be able to dish out a little bit more damage. Every third turn, She's gonna heal up for 15% of her HP and she has 100 million HP. So every turn she's gonna heal up for uh, 15 million HP. So take that in note. Uh, so you're gonna have to nuke her down as, as best as possible or else you're gonna be not in trouble but the fight is just gonna be prolonged and it's gonna be longer and longer and longer. So right here, like I said, Merc Ramza and Mistia, they're only gonna do the same thing. Uh, he's also really good. Because he counters a lot and building up that uh, Esper Gage is a good, good thing. And also, we're going to be able to evoke a Fenrir. We have our party of 5, which is really good. Orlando is there just to show you guys that he's still really, really good. And now that his 7-star version is going to come out, he's going to be able to do even more damage. Uh, we're going to try to defeat Lakshmi with the Limit Burst. If you guys can't do it, uh, then it's okay. But if you can... We're gonna do it. So we're gonna try to bring her HP down as much as possible. And this guy, always gonna do the same thing. Stone throw, Mistia. You're just gonna cover for the whole party. Reload, and we're gonna do that chain. And hopefully we're gonna be able to do a little bit more damage right here. Uh, also, if you have a Sephiroth friend, try to bring him uh, if he has his uh, maxed out limit burst. Because maxed out, you're gonna be doing 100% imperil to light resistance. And uh, since they're both using light weapon, you're going to be able to nuke her down a lot faster. So that's what we want right here. So we're just going to reload. We're going to do the exact same thing. And that's that's all we're doing. We're just nuking her down nice and slowly. Uh, turn 6 now. No, turn 6 after she's going to be able to heal up 15% of that HP. Right here, guys. Just evading all the attacks. Still provoking, countering. Making sure our limit bursts are up. And uh, our Esper Gage is already up. So we're gonna evoke Fenrir on this turn. And Lunera, I think she's gonna be singing again, right? He just counters. Counters all day. Oh, she's not singing yet. So, alright. We're just gonna evoke Fenrir on this turn. We're gonna stop it right here because I don't want him to lag my game. And uh, let's see how much damage we do here. 
57% is gonna go down to 41% she's gonna do that big light attack she's gonna recover some HP there you go nothing bad really easy fight guys if you have light resistance on your uh, magic cover tank and 100% uh, provoke tank it makes the fight so much easier 100% uh, evade sorry uh, also if you're able to nuke her down before turn 10 well trust me it's gonna make that fight a lot easier uh, since you won't have to deal with charm so if you don't have merc ramza and you can nuke her down before turn 10 go for it it's gonna make things a lot easier so right here same thing we're not gonna change anything we're just gonna reload we're waiting for sephiroth to get his limit burst since he didn't get it yet but the second he gets it that 100% light and peril is gonna do such a big difference on the fight and there you go nothing easy that's a really easy easy fight to do it's just the uh, annoyance of uh, her healing her HP by 15 million every single time so these guys right here they're gonna do the exact same thing repeat let's see if we can bring her down a little bit more and let's see if my friend Sephiroth can get his limit burst on this turn still no luck still no luck right here Mystia is jumping in front of everything taking all the damage again light nothing's happening Ramza just evading and countering like a boss can we get the uh, limit burst here Sephiroth can you get the crystals? Still nothing. Still nothing. We're getting no luck here. Uh, everything's good. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're not going to change anything. We're waiting to see if we can get her down really nice and low to finish her off with a limit burst. Uh, this turn she's going to heal. So that should be good. Let's see. That's pretty good. All right. All right. All right. Good, counter. Alright, so this turn, we're gonna use Lunera. She's gonna sing. We're gonna try to uh, look out for the damage that we're doing. So Sephiroth, right here, he's gonna imperil her by 100%. Smack. There you go. We're gonna reload. We're gonna do this and this. Orlando's gonna try to bring her down a little bit more. And on the next turn, with the chain, we should be able to kill it. See, right here, turn 10, she did charm. On our uh, tank, you didn't do nothing because you know what? Merc Ramza doesn't care if you're a girl. He's still gonna beat you down with a sword. You can charm him. He's actually not that bad. He's a good unit. He's a good unit. Every single unit is good when you know how to use them and when they have a purpose to serve in this game. So we're gonna chain, chain them up. Boom. We're gonna see how much damage we can do and we're gonna use Merc Ramza. Hopefully, that should be enough damage. To kill her and Merc Ramza should be able no not to finish the job well we were close we were close but you guys can see right here uh, if you control the damage well basically we're taking no damage if you if I could I could have been a little bit more patient and just not chain them together and get to the end but uh, nonetheless still pretty easy fight to go I can I can actually finish them right now we're gonna do this we're gonna do this and this should be enough damage to finish her off. So let's see the limit burst should finish her off. Bam, bam. Thank you, Orlando. We finished her off with a limit burst. Nice and easy. Not a hard fight, guys. Just think about it. Uh, have your AoE magic cover tank 100% and more on light resistance. Uh, get that 100% provoke tank with evade 100% if possible uh, make sure he's resistance to charm or if you're able to nuke Lakshmi before 10 turns well do so because then it makes the fight a lot easier guys thank you so much for watching if you are new to this channel please leave a like down below subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys next time on the next video peace